time for Who in the World is Awesome? For real interview! My job title is engineer. Um, we are staffed with one engineer full time. So a lot of my job revolves around this area of the truck right here. This is what controls getting water from the tank or water out of a hydrant to the fire. But I have to make sure that they can get water from the truck before we can put any water on fire. I drive the truck and then I'll start pumping it. It can be sometimes, uh, depends upon what the nature of the fire is. You have to either take away the fuel, the oxygen, or the heat away from the fire for it to go out. What sort of training do you have to do to become a firefighter? Uh, we do our drill nights every Tuesday night, and we do mostly in-house training, and there's hundreds of thousands of hours that add up with that weekly training. So what kind of things do you do in training? Um, some of the different trainings, we will set up different scenarios, um, we will We'll go over setting up ladders, we'll go over flow of water, um, we even have some older junk cars out at our training site out on Selmaville Road. We'll practice cutting apart cars and getting people out of them. Uh, anything. So like those um, dummies over there? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, we'll set those up and uh, we'll train rescuing them. Right now, just me. Um, I'm the full-time guy up here. Um, we are referred to as engineers on duty. There's four of us total, and there's at least one of us up here at a time. Uh, some days during the week, there will be two of us up here. Um, and it's our job to answer the phones, answer any questions people may have. And if our tones drop, we pick what truck needs to respond first, and then our volunteers will come in whenever we have a call. I can show you anything you want to see up at the station. We can go over the trucks, I can show you our radio equipment, I can give you a tour of the building. This is our aerial unit. It's got a 95 foot ladder on it with a big platform on the end. So that basket right there, we can put two people in that and raise them way up into the air. We also, if you look off the end of it, it also has a really big nozzle on the end of that basket that would flow a lot of water bills. sometimes the appropriate truck to respond to a call and even once we get there where exactly the truck needs to go. Just kind of planning for the end now uh, with my job up here. We never know what we'll do through the course of the day.
This truck, which is our oldest truck we have, is normally kept up there. Perfect. Here we've got some of the different extinguishers we carry. Still carries 2,000 gallons of water on the truck with the 2,000 gallon amount of pump. That's enough to fill up a swimming pool pretty quick. You've been a firefighter. I've been a firefighter for five years. I started out as, as a volunteer. Um, I've been a full time fireman up here for, oh, since July last year. What sort of advice would you give to young people who want to become a firefighter? You'll have to train hard. Um, it's not an easy thing to do. It's a very enjoyable and very rewarding career. Um, as you get older, you have to be 18 to join our fire department just due to safety constraints. Um, we're not allowed to have people under 18 on our department. So, get through school, get, get through high school, get about all that, and come talk to us when you're 18. Nope.